Okay. Hello, Miss Jones. Hi. Hi, my name is Esther. I'm going to be your nurse's aide this morning. Did you sleep okay? I did. Okay, so I'm here today to reposition you in bed because you've been laying on your back for the past two hours in order to prevent pressure ulcer. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so what is your preference? Would you want to look outside the window or would you want to look inside the room watching TV? I'll look outside the window. So that's going to be her right lateral. So we're going to be putting her on her light, right lateral position. So before I do that, Miss Jen, I'm going to go out and wash my hands and get my supplies. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So again, you're going to verbalize that you're washing your hands, except if this is your first skill, then you wash your hands. Or if it's not, you just say, I'm washing my hands. Okay. And then I will dry. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go get my supplies. So for right now, I'm going to get my pillows and put them on, on the side. And make the pillows close by so that it's easy to reach. Okay. So and then I have Miss Allison here that is going to help me reposition on the right side, okay? All right, so is it okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some privacy. And then I'm gonna, we'll take the sheets off for you okay. and I'll get it back to you, okay? For repositioning, you always need three pillows. I'm gonna give you this to hold for me. You, you need to always have a sheet on, you need to have a lifting sheet underneath you to make it easy to reposition. So. And I have the pillow. Remember never to hold any sheets or pillows close to your body to avoid any infection. All right, so I'm gonna have you Roll her. So before you reposition any, any uh, resident, you want to have her hug herself. And then you're going to, if you're going to reposition her looking out to the right, you're going to cross her foot to, to the right. If you're going to reposition her looking to the left, you're going to cross her foot to the left. So today I'm going to cross her foot to the right. And then I'm going to have my partner help me roll her up. Remember, if you do not have a lifting sheet, there's no way you can reposition someone in bed. So I already had a lifting sheet underneath the residence, so I didn't need to get one. But for you, you might not have one. So this is one of the supplies that you need to bring along with your pillows. So can you hold that up for me? So the very first pillow, I'm going to tuck in closer to her back to get her off her back. So how are you comfortable? Yes. So remember, when you're doing your skills, you're going to make sure you look at your resident and make sure they're comfortable because that's part of the indirect care skills that you get tested on. There are five indirect care skills you get tested on. The first one is infection control. The second one is your privacy. The third skill is communication. The fourth is dignity. And then the fifth, they want to see you give resident preferences. And then my second pillow, looking at the resident, before you reposition her also, you want to make sure she's not going to fall off the bed when you do the repositioning. So you're going to pull her to the opposite side of the bed so that way when you roll her over, she's not by the edge of the bed. In this instance, she was in the middle, so I didn't really need to roll her to my left side to reposition her. So I'm going to give her, put one pillow underneath her elbow here to protect her elbow against friction and then the third pillow I'm going to put in between her and make sure to get her heels off the bed okay. and make sure you ask your resident how she's, how she's feeling are you comfortable yes I'm comfortable okay so is it okay to cover you up with the bed sheet sure okay how high do you want to that's good. Is that good? Yes. Okay, good. And then would you like me to pull the cotton so you can see outside some more? Yes, please. Okay. And then I'll go pull the cotton. And then also, before you leave, ask the resident, do you need water? 
No, I'm okay. Okay, what about your call light? Mm -hmm. Right, where, what side do you want your call light? Right there, it's good. Okay, right here is good. So, before you also reposition any person in bed, you want to make sure that the height of the bed is elbow level, so you're not bending over. But in this instant, I already had it at elbow level, so I didn't need to do all of that. So, my resident looks comfortable in bed. She denies pain. She doesn't want any water. So after this, the last thing you always want to do is to give them their call light and then pull the privacy button and then go back and then verbalize that you're washing your hands, which I'm doing now. I'm washing my hands. And after you wash your hands, you're done with your skills. Thank you.